Not far from the Lutheran town of Wittenberg, farmer's son Christian Rudolf Sack, after having done a hard day's work in the field, dedicates his free time to his studies. He is going to build a plow in order to, as he writes, plow with a minimum tractive power, as deep, as well, and much as possible. A plow that will properly crumble the soil and move even the deepest of layers. His ideas were set to revolutionize agricultural technology. In the small neighboring village of Peissen, Rudolf Sack finds a like-minded person in the local blacksmith, Mr. Knopp, who creates in the flesh everything that Sack is thinking about. With the aid of a forge, a vise, and a simple lathe, a plow results which hadn't up till then existed. An oxen plow, on which, except for the wheels, all the parts were made from iron. It is the Lübner plow. This decisive breakthrough was made by the year 1857. One of Zach's plows got over to Kiev on the estate of the Earl of Brobrinsky. And the Earl is so enthusiastic about it that he telegraphs an order for 120 units from Rudolf Zach. Also, uns wurde der Urgroßvater immer. Our great-grandfather was portrayed as the inventor of the first iron plow, and he had a gift. He easily found four-leaf clovers, and I have inherited this gift from him. In 1867, Rudolf Sack built his first machine factory in Leipzig, Plagwitz. At the same time as Germany is changing from an agricultural to an industrial state, Rudolf Sack also develops from a farmer to an industrialist. I think twice in my life as a little boy at the hand of my father, I visited the factory Rudolf Sack here in Plagwitz. There I saw forge hammers at work when I was seven or eight years old. This impressed me enormously. After work, when the shift was finished, we went through the factory with carbide lamps and fooled around in there. God be thanked that nothing ever happened. By 1904, the one millionth plow was delivered. In the anniversary year, 50 years after the foundation of the company, 1,000 plows and 40 seed drills are being produced per day. 2,000 employees are working in the factory, which had expanded to a ground area of 75,000 square meters. The share of this production exported amounts to 72 percent. Our forefathers have always done something for their people. They had money indeed, they were manufacturers indeed, however not capitalists. They established, for example, bowling alleys and little cafeterias for their workers. And they also implemented widow and orphans funds and a health insurance. Rudolf Sack also very much took care of his grandchildren. However, he demanded their commitment to recognize trees, plants, and for example, also the kinds of seed all the grandchildren had to do their duty. The world economic crisis and the Second World War then thwarted the company. Es war schon ein kleines Wunder, was in den Mai Tagen 1945. It was in fact a little miracle that happened during those days in May 1945 at Rudolfsack. The war was only just over on the 8th of May, and already by the 28th of May, more than 200 workers and clerks had started to work again. 
Agricultural machine reproduction in the now arising GDR was very much concentrated here in Leipzig. The former Zack company, which by now had become a state nationalized company, was by far the biggest concern with a very wide production range. Soil tillage, crop protection and root crop technology. An entirely new development started, which partly was based on the former plows which were still manufactured at Zack. In total, BBG was a center of agricultural machine reproduction here in the GDR. That meant for these larger areas, entirely new machines and implements were developed which were bigger and which had to be operated by tractors. In addition, crawler tractors were delivered from the Soviet Union. And the people, in fact, were committed to their task. They carried on even if it was after work or not. Auf jeden Fall gehe ich davon aus, dass der engagierte Wille vieler Leute In any case, I put to you that the committed will of these many people helped to achieve, as quickly as possible, the preconditions for a production line to supply the population and to create jobs. At that time, I participated in the development of potato harvesters and a colleague, Mr. Kretschmar, in the development of beet harvesters. Due to our developments, the mechanization of agriculture made great progress. This was honored with a national prize which we were awarded. Needless to say, we were also a bit proud. It was, after all, the highest award for science and technology in the former GDR. The most important patents BBG had applied for were the overload safety devices of the plows. GDR agriculture heavily suffered from surface stones and the plows had to react to those surface stones accordingly. That means they had to negotiate objects. A number of those patents were recognized internationally. During the current development, up until finally the political wind of change in Germany, BBG was responsible for the production of complex soil tillage equipment for fertilizing, plant care, crop protection, sowing and root crop harvesting. Here the soil tillage implement originated seedbed preparation implements. Millions of shares were produced, plows with packers. All these are things which really were created on the basis of the ideas of Rudolf Sack. I'm always fascinated, after all I am a soil tillage man, to see such efficiency marching across the field. This is in fact very impressive.
In Leipzig, after the political wind of change in Germany, for BBG the time was not particularly golden, until finally Amazona entered the scene and took over the company. The best we could hope for was that BBG was taken over by Amazonenwerke. And then we started together with Amazonenwerke to establish once more our entire product range. It was an interesting time, but it was also a highly charged time. Today it is good that there is one Germany again. We all speak one language. No one now bothers in which part of Germany he has grown up. I think that today everyone can benefit from it. Also in the East, not everything is bad. We always regard ourselves as a big family. Now, this family, meanwhile, has 17 or 1800 employees. And motivation is not only monetary based. The climate in the business has to be right. It is a real pleasure to go into the office. It's a pleasure to go to work. Not every day, that's also clear. All the big Amazonet sites have their own development department. That is a practical philosophy, as those products which a factory manufactures are also developed there. During the previous 15 years, we have invested heavily in plant and buildings. For example, with the new paint facility and the new high bay warehouse. We also invested in more ground area. What has really promoted us and what has created the connection with the other factories is the investment in robot welding technology. The machinery which is built today results in huge yield increases. We manufacture the catros in working widths of three to seven and a half meters. The centaur time and disc combination cultivator was newly developed. We also have a seniors three stagger mounted cultivator on our program. We build trailed sprayers, the UG2200 and 3000. Thus, one should always listen with at least one ear to the market. Apparently, there must be something behind the names Amazona and BVG, which then makes people buy these machines and, in fact, no other ones. I still remember well my first visit to BBG. This was in spring 1998. And even then I said, my goodness, this would be an interesting business. And I thought about the possibility of getting involved there. And the combination of high productivity via the Amazon and know-how and the craftsmanship combined with the knowledge of passive soil tillage from Leipzig was a very successful combination right from the beginning. And for the years to come, we again intend to take bigger steps ahead. For us, the plow is a supplement to our program. As an engineer, I must say that the plow was an especially thrilling challenge for us. 
We have now been involved with it for some years, and fortunately, we found some possibilities to even improve the plough a bit in one area or another. The plough actually is the oldest implement in agriculture. I think that more than 6,000 years ago, ploughs in their simplest versions were already in use. This procedure to break up the soil and to invert it, this is something fascinating. This year, Amazon Werke will be 130 years old, BBG even older and 150 years. For us, this is an incentive and an obligation for the future. It is also our objective to play a leading role in Europe in the range of the passive soil tillage, both regarding the technological competence and the market share. This is what we fight for.